You ever have one of those days where nothing really seemed to go right? Well, I finally got my first vintage iMac G5. This was the very last version that they made. This is the iSight model. I sent uh, some pictures on the uh, YouTube community forum when I got this and they did a very very poor job of packaging this. It was awful. And so what got broken was the uh, front bezel here and it was just all busted to pieces here. There's chunks missing out of it. It's all cracked. It's cracked down here. Um, you know, it's intact on this side but Anyway, I'm just so thankful that the uh, computer itself was okay. The back cover's perfectly fine. Everything works on it. The hard drive, the optical drive, the eyesight camera, which is up here. It does work. And the microphone, it all works. And it seems to work just fine, the Wi-Fi and everything. But what really makes me mad is people don't take the time to package things properly and just as a word of caution whenever you buy anything always ask them uh, if even if you have to pay a little bit more have them take the place and pack it up for you at least that way they are responsible and that way if anything happens to it you can go back on the people that actually packaged it up and shipped it uh, you can do this FedEx, DHL, UPS, they'll, they'll package it for you. You'll pay more, but it's well worth it. Now when I got this, and I'll show you some photos here, they just use a real skinny box. This computer was actually upside down. It wasn't even on the foot. And had it been on the foot, it might have fared better. But they just had it full of peanut packaging. Now, whenever you ship anything, and I've, many years ago, my wife and me used to own a packing company. We could ship anything at that time anywhere on the planet. I mean, we shipped all kinds of heavy duty stuff. We'd actually have to have things shipped by rail. But uh, one thing you do learn is how to box things up. Now, just a rule of thumb, Every box, if you look on the bottom of it, I don't have an example to show you, I'll show you a photo here, has a crush weight on it. So basically what that means is if there's weight on it, uh, the four corners, that's how much it will stand pressure on it. Now the heavier your item is, the stronger the box has got to be, and I always double box everything. And what I mean by that is you get two of the same identical boxes and don't fold the ends on them. Just slide the inside out. Just take and hold the box and just kind of gently start squeezing it on there. And you'll have to work with it. And it'll take you a little time. You just can't jam it all the way down there. But then uh, when you get that down or all the way, then you can flip it over and continue pushing it down. And then you have a nice strong box. And then what I do actually is I actually use hot glue so just use hot glue from a glue gun and uh, what I do is I just glue the flaps on the bottom as I'm putting the box together when I get the inner box in position where it needs to be I'll make sure I'll lift them up I'll get a hot glue gun and just ooze a bunch of it on there and just push it down and uh, what I do is I actually put it on something flat like a concrete floor don't do it on carpeting and just stand on it for a couple minutes give that glue time to cure out and it'll it makes it very very strong and then uh, then also what you want to do is when you especially these Macs the older ones but this one is a little more forgiving in certain things because it's a polycarbonate case rather than the straight uh, acrylic case is that you set it in there, you got to brace it. And what I mean by that is you got to put something on both sides, put a screen protector over the screen, like a piece of cardboard, and then wrap, bubble wrap around it. That way it protects the corners if it jostles around in there. But when you stick it in there, then you can take um, 
uh, pieces of cardboard, hot glue them, and just kind of make your little brace on each side of it. And then you can get these packing pillows. They're basically, they're just uh, air pillows, uh, plastic. You can get a whole bunch of them on a roll. And those work a lot better than the peanuts. And that way it, it actually provides a much more cushiony effect. And that way it will hopefully get to you in one piece. And just like anything, the longer it is out there being shipped, more chances of it getting damaged. So if you can afford it, have it get there in a couple of days and you're less likely to have any issues with it. And when I had my 500 subscriber giveaway, I shipped a box to Logan. Uh, I'll give you a link to his channel, uh, Crazy Tech Reviews. And he did a live stream of him unboxing it. And it was double boxed. And even the other items were in boxes themselves. And that thing was pretty bulletproof. And then if you want to take it a step further, you can get like plastic straps and put around your box, uh, either vertically or horizontally. And that will actually add more support to it. But getting back to this here, um, I do have a new bezel ordered for it, and I should get it this week. And But what we're going to do is, when I get the new bezel, um, I can tell this thing's really loaded up with uh, dust. And so what I want to do is I'm going to take the screen out, and I'm going to pull the motherboard out so I can clean it all out. Good. I want to repaste that uh, processor, because I know that all that uh, thermal paste is probably uh, petrified by now. So we're going to repaste everything, and that way uh, we can blow everything out, and that way this thing will uh, run as cool as it can. Uh, G5s, uh, from what I heard, uh, they get pretty darn warm, just like the G4s do, but uh, at least this has a nice cooling fan in there. But the other thing, too, is we're going to put a SSD drive in there, and that'll help it run a little cooler, too. Getting back to this, this is really a nice G5 iMac. Uh, the back cover is just immaculate. The, the uh, foot of it there is perfect. Now, now the outer case goes over this. So this is like new. It's really good. But I'll show you the uh, the specs on it here. So this is, uh, let me uh, zoom in on it here a little bit for you. So you can see this is uh, a 1.2 gigahertz power PC G5. And it's got 2.5 gigs of RAM in it. So I believe that's maxed out. I don't think you can put any more in it. And then it'll bring it up here. And this will tell you that it's the 700 megahertz model. This has the EyeSight on it, camera. And this is the last G5 iMac version they made. Uh, this actually shares the exact same case as the 2006, which I used to have the 2006. It was an Intel Core Dual processor. Uh, but they use the exact same case. But the one before this one, it was different. But this uh, comes with a lot of software on it. Uh, frankly, there's a lot of it. I don't know uh, what it is. I mean, this person did a lot of stuff with Adobe and Photoshop. I don't know what this is here, this uh, FileZilla. I'm not familiar with this one here. Um, I don't see really um, you know, any uh, personal information on it, per se. Uh, if I dig around in here a little bit, I do. I probably would find stuff, but what I, what I plan on doing is um, when I get that uh, SSD, uh, I will probably just clone this drive and that way I can uh, just throw things away and or I might just do a clean install. I'm not sure. I'm just uh, eager to get this thing all back together, but it uh, seems to work really good. Uh, it gets on the internet no problem. And we can click in the uh, hard drive here. And you can see there's lots of applications on here. Whoops, let's try this, try this again there. There we go. I got my wireless keyboard connected to it. But there's a lot of applications. That's why I kind of want to clone this drive because there's lots of interesting stuff on here. Uh, I clicked iPhoto, but there was nothing in there. Uh, iTunes, there's a lot of music. It's um, a lot of uh, jazz music in there. Cisco VMP client, uh, Yahoo Messenger, Zimno, Thunderbird. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I'm I have not seen before on this thing here. Very interesting. Soundtrack Pro. I think this person must have used to be in the music or something, because there's a lot and uh, a lot of um, maybe graphic art artistry. 
Maybe they worked in the graphics art industry. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff on here. I mean, look at all the apps on this thing. So that's why I kind of want to clone the drive here. And we can click iTunes here. And I'll probably put, um, and you can see, look, there's, there's a ton of, there's a ton of music on this thing already. Look at all that. A lot of stuff. So I definitely want to clone this drive. It, it takes a little bit of time for it to open up. Um, and I can hear the hard drive accessing there. The hard drive's not noisy at all on it, which is pretty good. But you see it takes a little time for it to load up there. You see it's taking a little time for it to load up. Like I said, somebody did some serious uh, design work on this thing. There you go. It's opening up there. Here's uh, recent items on here. I'm not going to open them up, but that's, these are all going back to like 2012, 2010, 2011. So this was used for that for quite a bit. Uh, I don't see any movies on here. Uh, there are some pictures on there. haven't really looked at that there. Like I said, I have to purge a lot of this information. Again, the system preferences here. Looks pretty much the same. This is running uh, Leopard, uh, last version. Uh, actually, uh, there was a couple software updates uh, that I did on it um, right from the Apple server. Uh, a lot of it was for the, uh, the wireless mice here, actually, what it was for. So, yeah. Um, nice, uh, nice Mac. It's, uh, like I said, the... Uh, Optical drive works fine on it. Not very pretty with the front cover off of it here, but uh, I can uh, I can spin it around here And it's kind of interesting to note That of all these pieces That are broken like right here That's the only piece that was in the box so the rest of them must have fell out somewhere. It's a real shame that happened to this. Um, and it's just all because somebody just didn't take the time to package it properly. And that's just one of my pet peeves. Now, fortunately, I've always had pretty good luck with people shipping things. I've been very lucky. Um, I've only had, counting this one, I've only ever had one other thing that was damaged, and that was, of course, an iMac G3 plastic bezel. Uh, it was cracked to smithereens on it. And again, it's because they didn't package it right. It was just rolling around in a box. And again, they just used a box, not even a double box. It's well worth time and money spent packaging it the proper way and shipping it the proper way. And like I said, if you don't feel comfortable with it, take it to one of these places. They will professionally pack it for you. Yeah, you might spend a little more money, but you know what? Uh, it's got a heck of a lot better chance of getting there in perfect shape rather than you trying to do it and you don't really know what you're doing. So that's my advice to anybody that's shipping a vintage machine or any machine in general. Like I said, it's nice, uh, nice, nice uh, G5. I've never had one of these. This will make a nice companion for my G4 Cube. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to fit it, but I'll find a nice spot for it. And uh, maybe next year I will use this for the Power PC slash 68K challenge. Or I might still use my Cube. And I have some marvelous updates we're going to be doing on the Cube too. You thought it was modded now. Got a couple cool things we're going to be doing on it. You can hardly wait. And you can see the uh, EyeSight camera working there. Hopefully you can see that moving around the screen there. Yeah, and it's working on my messy garage there. So yeah, so the camera works, the microphone works on it. Pretty cool. Just will look a lot better, obviously, uh, when it's all put back together there. Okay, guys, so I appreciate you watching my video. Uh, there's going to be a part two on this. Uh, like I said, we, we get that SSD and we get the bezel. Then we can take and clean it up. We'll take it apart. We'll repaste the motherboard. 
Uh, we'll do a video on that. Uh, I've never had one of these apart before, so it should be interesting. And uh, that way it will we'll breathe a little bit more life back into this guy. Because like I said, uh, I doubt seriously if it's ever, ever been apart. And it should run a little quicker with the uh, solid state drive in it too. So on that note, please like this video. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you get the latest updates. And we're also on MeWe and Twitter. And we're also on the YouTube community post. Once in a while I'll post things on the uh, community post. So anyway, so you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. This is Easter Sunday. And you have a great rest of your next week. Bye-bye.